Hello everyone! Our lesson for today is about percent of change. We are going to learn today how to find the percent of change. Before we proceed, let me tell you what is percent of change. It is a ratio that compares the change in quantity to the original amount. The equation you need to remember to find the percent of change is the amount of change over the original amount. Let us solve one example so that you will be guided. Find the percent of change in the cost of gasoline from 2010 to 2022. Round to the nearest whole number if necessary. Since the 2022 price is greater than the 2010 price, this is a percent of increase. Let me show you the steps how to find the percent of change. First, we're going to find the amount of increase. The amount of increase is the price of the gas from 2022 minus the price of gas from 2010. So, $3.95 minus $1.30 is equal to $2.65. Next, we are going to find the percent of increase. We're going to use the equation percent of increase is equal to the amount of increase all over the original amount. We're just going to use the substitution. We're going to substitute the amount of increase in the numerator over the original amount in the denominator. Therefore, 2.65 all over 1.30. To simplify by division, it will give you 2.04. To write 2.04 as a percent, you're just going to multiply it by 100. Therefore, 2.04 times 100, it will give you 204%. Therefore, the cost of gasoline increased by about 204% from 2010 to 2022. It is easy, right? Let us solve another example so that you can understand the lesson well. Mira bought a CD recorder for 125 dirhams. Now, it is on sale for 75 dirhams only. Find the percent of change in the price. Round to the nearest whole number if necessary. Since the new price which is 75 dirhams is less than the original price which is 125 dirhams, therefore, this is a percent of decrease. Let us solve it step by step again. First, we're going to find the amount of decrease. The original price minus the new price. It will give us 125 minus 75 is 50 dirhams. Next, we are going to find the percent of decrease. We're going to use the equation percent of decrease, which is the amount of decrease over the original amount. We are just going to substitute the values in the equation. The amount of decrease is 50 dirhams and the original amount is 125 dirhams. Therefore, 50 dirhams all over 125 dirhams. To simplify by division, 50 all over 125 will give us 0.4. To write 0.4 by percent, we are just going to multiply the 0.4 by 100. 0.4 times 100 will give us 40%. Therefore, the price of the CD recorder was decreased by about 40%. That is the percent of change. The lesson is very easy, right? So, we have learned how to find the percent of change. Let us now try to find how to solve for the percent error. The percent error is the ratio that compares the inaccuracy of an estimate or the amount of error to the actual amount. And the equation for the percent of error is amount of error all over the actual amount. Let us solve this example so that you will be guided. Shama wants to practice free throws. 
She estimates the distance from the free throw line to the shooting board and marks it with a red pen. Shama's estimate was 3.5 meters. The actual distance should be 5.2 meters. Find the percent error. To find the percent error, we're going to find the amount of error first. We're going to subtract the estimated distance from the actual distance. Therefore, 5.2 meters minus 3.5 meters will give us 1.7 meters. After solving for the amount of error, we can find now the percent error. We're going to use the equation amount of error all over the actual amount. So, by substitution, we can get 1.7 all over 5.2. We can simplify now by division. 1.7 divided by 5.2 will give us 0 0.327. And to get the percentage, we're just going to multiply it by 100, which will give us 32.7%. So, the percent of error is 32.7%. It is easy, right? We have learned also how to find the percent error. We have learned today how to solve the percent of change. It is very easy, right? 